Okay, so here we go, uh, 1304, Ubuntu 1304, by, uh, anybody watching this probably knows it's out by now, it was out yesterday, um, I took some time yesterday to get most of my applications up and running, and there's some observations I have, uh, most of them aren't that good, unfortunately, I made some notes here, uh, first noticeable one is a uh, random crash at boot time, I don't know why, um, but uh, the good thing is if, well, not if, but, um, when you force it to restart, it uh, comes back. It fixes whatever the problem is, uh, which is a mystery right now. Uh, Quake, I use that quite often. That's this terminal when I press the F12 key, drop down terminal. You notice at the top here, I'll zoom in. This is uh, Quake here, and at the top, and over to the side, you know, as you can see the desktop background, uh, that's not normal. That should not be happening at all. Uh, now, I don't know if that's a, a video driver issue, which is more than likely. Uh, Quake itself, not Quake. And, uh, or is it an Ubuntu uh, bug? Uh, Pulse Audio. Um, the time I tried to record this, a few times I tried to record, uh, this uh, input volume would uh, reset itself to zero, so I'd spend the whole time talking and not have any audio. That's unusual. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, comp is, it drops its settings. Um, I have hot corner set up and it's not working. Uh, I had the uh, top right is the Windows spread, uh, bottom right would be workspace, and as you can see when I'm using the mouse, none of these work. This would be toggle desktop here at the bottom left. Again, a mystery, I don't know why. Um, social application. Uh, well, you know, they're working on making it more integrated into the operating system. Uh, they dropped Wibber. A lot of people will say good riddance. Um, however, they've replaced it with a baked in application called friends it's and if you right click on your this thingy here um, you'll get social and if you have online accounts they'll show up in that part of the dash and uh, <clears throat> if you want the application itself you can open software center friends dash app make sure we get exactly what we want and yeah, this happens too. It'll randomly, uh, out of nowhere, refresh itself. We'll try it again. There it is. Okay, so we have uh, the dispatcher itself. Uh, then you have integration Facebook and stuff, and the app, the actual app, and it's not very well rated because it's buggy, <laughs> unfortunately. It uh, crashes a lot, and it's not very nice looking and very intuitive at all. Uh, okay, other stuff. Nautilus, it's got to go. It's just, it's so stripped down, it's almost useless. Um, Nautilus by mean files, whatever you want to call it now. Um, the F3 side thing, you know, split view is gone. Uh, and it's just so limited now. I don't like, I hate to say this, but I don't like the interface either. I find this very weird. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Now, however, you can get applications like Open Terminal here. Thank goodness they left in the empty document. <laughs> uh, like some other distros. And, uh, so you can sort of still sort of make it workable. Control T, you can open a new tab. So that's kind of the idea. The split close to it anyway, but it's not quite the same. So uh, maybe they'll replace it with Nemo. I'm hoping. Uh, privacy, the shopping lens, I removed that as well as the Amazon icon and the, the application itself. Under settings again, uh, privacy. You go to diagnostic, the last tab here. 
You know, Sirius has sent error, error reports. That's okay, but <clears throat> it's checked by default to send error reports. So you have to unlock it, type in your password, and then uncheck this so it's the box is not checked anymore. Okay, other than that, um, it's it's reasonably stable. Uh, it's, for me, it boots faster. Some people report it boots slower. Uh, and it's a very fast shutdown reboot. Like It drops the processes very, very quickly. Uh, the fastest I've seen, I think, in an Ubuntu release. Um, <clears throat> most programs you grab are up to date. Uh, for example, GIMP um, is the latest version. So you don't have to go look for uh, an updated version. Not that you have to, but, you know, sometimes sometimes newer is not good. Sometimes it is. You know. So, and uh, the other ones, <coughs> some are just, you know, just a point release off. So that's that's pretty good. And all the other stuff I've talked about before, the icon, the new, some of the, some new icons. <laughs> and uh, the logout, the shutdown. Um, this here interface, whatever, and uh, a few other things, but overall, it's it's good. Um, and last one is nine months only of support. Ouch! So if you like this release, you only have nine months to use it, and then it's not supported anymore. So that's a good thing. Or it's a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. And now I just had another crash. Oh, yes. I've seen this. The geo is trying to... The geo locator thing. That's crashed on me a few times. That's usually when I open uh, Software Center. I don't know. So, fairly stable, but buggy. Which is unfortunate, because when I was using the the developer release systems I never had these a lot of these problems um, I knew the friends app wasn't uh, but I just gave that you know because it was a developer re releases but uh, now that it's out I'm surprised that it hasn't it doesn't it's not ver working very well um, which is unfortunate so that's my overview um, I'll keep this going um, I do like it for the most part. Um, you know, not software. No software is perfect, and you're going to get crashes and stuff, especially a day after its release. But just some of the stuff is surprising to see um, <clears throat> after such a long development cycle and so much positive feedback, and then we get some just out of the blue crashes. It's just uh, not something I'm used to from. Ubuntu. Okay, that's it for now, and thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.